No guarantee but cost And you will get double crossed He tells two lies per sentence Then lies a couple times again He's a guy from Queens And that means king of the con What's up guys, boy Benny? A house divided against itself cannot stand pretty famous quotes from Jesus Christ, then uh, paraphrased by Abraham Lincoln in the Gettysburg Address. Meaning, if you hate your household, then it's not going to be a great marriage, right? It's going it's to destroy itself. You, you, the, the house will fall. The nation will fall. The company will fall. The marriage will fail if you hate each other, okay? So this is kind of the, the thread that connects Bud Light, John Deere, Harley Davidson tractor supply is they get it's it has nothing to do with the customers and it has nothing to do with the like the workers who are like assembling the parts or selling chicken feed like the workers don't want this crap at tractor supply right or building tractors or may or brewing like the the Bud Light thing was not about the brewers in St. Louis working class dudes okay who like get dirty at work every single day or the farmers and you know it's not about that it's always about the leadership and it's always about hating your customers. You don't even have to look at like, you can go look at Star Wars. Go look at the people writing Star Wars these days. Every article is about how much they hate the fan base. It's the same principles, the same concepts. And, and, and so these principles are, well, designed to destroy brands like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, beer companies or tractor companies, doesn't matter a house divided against itself, you're going to destroy your brand. This is happening with Harley Davidson right now. And it's the same model, right? It's the Kathleen Kennedy model. Kathleen Kennedy hates Star Wars, hates men, and hates Star Wars fans. And so she's going to create garbage Star Wars until the brand is worthless. A shell, a husk of itself. And Harley Davidson is doing the same thing because they hired a super woke CEO named Jacques Anzeit, who calls himself the Taliban of sustainability, which is just a buzzword that uh, means Marxism, means I like if your product burns fossil fuel, I'm going to destroy that product. Uh, he says that he and his woke friends have a better way of doing business. It It's not as profitable from a financial point of view, but it's also about the social and environmental point of view. So he actually doesn't care about Harley Davidson making a profit or keeping this great American company great he says he's an enemy of capitalism. <laughs> this is a clip that uh, Robbie Starbuck, who's been leading this Harley Davidson uh, revolt, has produced, and it is stunning. Here's this dude going on and on. This is the head of Harley Davidson about how much he hates the brand, how much he hates the motorcycle company. How stupid is Harley Davidson? I became a board member of Harley Davidson. What am I doing here? Harley, it's all about the sound and the smell. I became the Taliban of sustainability. <laughs> what the, what the fuck? What is wrong with these people? Here we go. Have a look. My mom, Harley Davidson. Now you could ask, what am I doing here? And of course, Harley is all about the sound and the smell of the Harley Davidson, isn't it? So I began, became the Taliban again in a sustainable way. God. I decided to chair, actually create a sustainability committee on the board, mm -hmm. which I'm still chairing today, such so. as for caring and other companies. You turn sustainability into something which is desirable, which makes sense for your brand. It's not just a buzzword out there that means little. You're translating it into the DNA of what you're doing in business. And that's what we are trying to do with the other initiative, which I just co-chaired with Sir Richard Branson yesterday, which is called the B Team. Paul Porman from Unilever, Richard, myself, and many others from around the world, more Ibrahim from Africa, and Gozi, the finance minister of Nigeria, and, and, and in order to really try and redefine the role and purpose of business. So here again, now we are trying to take on traditional capitalism and try and redefine it. We're trying to take on traditional capitalism and redefine it. Look at the background of what this guy's, look at the background board where this guy's talking. Redefine capitalism. Look at the background of what this guy's talking. It says humanizing globalization. Global human. You see the white lettering there? Global human. 
no nations, no country, united globalist government. These people are in charge of Harley. This is insane. This guy's a Marxist. This guy's a Marxist. Where, where, where else did you hear redefine capitalism? Right? Where else do you hear terminology like that? This is, the, the, and these guys come from European socialists where they've done that and they've destroyed the economies of Europe. They've destroyed their capacities to grow, to innovate, or to have any type of vibrancy at all. They're decaying countries. And you bring that into Harley Davidson. It's not just that, Robbie Starbuck talking about how Harley Davidson lies to its customer base. Harley Davidson gaslit the public by acting like DEI isn't central to their mission. Here's what Harley Davidson 2022 report on stakeholder management says. Diversity, equity, inclusion. Developing a inclusive and diverse organization on all levels and areas. Establish progressive, pro, uh, establish progressive and sustainable work environments. Progressive work environments. They're taking the motorcycle company and turning it into a political company. So by buying a Harley, you are just donating to the Democrat Party. That's what you're doing. Here's the uh, and, and he has the receipts. Robbie does, because of course, why it matters. Making sure that we are go that we are governed right governed by progressive values so unbelievably excruciatingly cringe but also illegal okay so what's amazing about all of this is that none of it's legal i'm waiting for this case at the supreme court none of it's legal based on the current laws of america civil rights act which is our, the governing law of this nation says you cannot discriminate by race, yet this is exactly what Harley does. Harley says we don't want white people working here. Well, I promised you we'd go through the board members of Harley Davidson. Here's the first one, meet Alan Golston. He's the president of the United States program for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. How did he end up on the Harley Davidson board? The World Economic Forum even touts him as a contributor on their website. Does this scream Harley Davidson to you yet? And he is a big believer in DEI. In fact, here he is on LinkedIn championing the new DEI officer at the Bill and Melinda Melinda Gates Foundation. He also absolutely loves using the term Latinx. A white adult is twice as likely to have at least an associate's degree as a Latinx adult. Maybe this is just my hot take as a fellow Latino, but anybody who's dumb enough to refer to themselves as Latinx probably should not be allowed to have a college degree unless they majored in stupidity. Now let's jump to equity. Alan loves the concept of communist equity because that's what equity really is. It's a Marxist term that means that you need to take from others, push other people down who are excellent and lift people up from the bottom so that they're at the same exact place. Equal outcomes for all, he loves equity. Our primary uh, aim is to ensure equitable outcomes in the systems that we're focused on. I mean, he's really giving you those vroom vroom vibes, isn't he? And this is unlikely to shock anybody at this point, but Alan here exclusively donates to Democrats. And that Mike Johnson you see there is not the Republican Mike Johnson. These are all Democrats, every single one. Him and a guy named Steven are listed as repeated donors to the Pride Foundation. So if you're a biker out there, you're still wondering, how did Harley Davidson go woke? Why haven't they fired their CEO? Why did they donate money to these Pride events that were crazy? Why did they do these crazy trainings with a book called White Fragility that essentially is a book based off of the premise that we're just a racist country and it's all rooted in white supremacy and basically everything sucks? Well, if you have board members like this, who are super into DEI, they love equity, which is a Marxist term again, and they also are donors themselves to these pride companies or pride foundations that themselves support the transitioning of children. Well, what do you think is gonna to happen to the companies that they're on the board of? They're gonna go woke, and when pressure comes in, even from their own consumers, some of them are gonna be so committed to their ideology, they will not say, you know what? It's not appropriate for me to push my personal values, my personal politics into this public company, because we have a fiduciary duty to shareholders. Instead, we're gonna, we're gonna go back, we're gonna just be neutral, we're gonna be a neutral company that makes great motorcycles. I don't know, I can't tell you if they're going to do that. I hope they do, because that's the right thing to do in my view. But if they don't, I don't think it's any secret why. I think y'all can see from just this, and there's more stuff, I'll put more of it out later. Just from this, I think you can see why that has not happened yet, why they have not turned back yet. If you're a Harley rider, speak up before this company is destroyed. Let them know how you feel about them turning this company into a purveyor of wokeness. That's exactly right. They're using good American companies to push radical left-wing agendas. And it's why Harley owners are destroying their Harleys. They're using miniguns. 
<laughs> they're literally blowing up their Harleys. They're ripping the logos off their Harleys. It's wild, man. It's uh, something that is going to really, really cause problems for this brand. It's something that's going to destroy Harley Davidson. You can't have customers doing this to their Harleys, like ripping all the ripping all the tags off, like being embarrassed. The whole point of a Harley is the brand that's been built up over 100 years. You can't have people that are axing out and using crowbars to rip off their Harley brands. It's unsustainable. You want to talk about sustainability, dumbass? That's what's unsustainable. Having a uh, stock price right here, this is what was unsustainable. And as uh, as Robbie points out, a lesson for Harley Davidson, Harley doesn't have other products that its customers are unaware of like Bud Light Company does. They will suffer losses across, a bra uh, across the board unless they do the right thing and eliminate wokeness from the company. Bud Light has not recovered since the boycott per Bloomberg. Bud Light just destroyed by this boycott. Many people will never drink a Bud Light again that I know. And many people that I know will also never ride a Harley again. Um, and Robbie brings up a great point, ladies and gentlemen, that, you know what? Harley Davidson stopped selling motor. What are they going to do? Sell toothbrushes? No, don't think so. Bud Light had like, but Anheuser-Busch has like 50 different beer brands. Yeah, um, this is bad news for these guys. So don't buy Harley and demand that we make examples of these companies. Um, again, before it's too late, they destroy great American companies. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. Looking at a great American right there. See ya.